Have you ever felt time is running out and start to panic regarding not getting enough time to do question practice? Literally the same thing happened to me yesterday. I was analyzing my prep and realized that I'm again going on the same path as before. So basically there has been some changes I made in my plan after stumbling across this video from Edunuti where he clearly mentioned that 70% of study time should go to question practice and the rest 30% should go to theory. And this acted as a catalyst. Unfortunately, my study time wasn't even at par with it which made me suddenly realize that I had to change it. For maths, I had mentioned earlier that I would be redoing entire calculus from TK sir. Although it is almost done, I'll be relying on my annotated printed notes from Sachin sir from Lakshya 1.2025. I know how much I emphasized on making your own notes, but in my case, I'm not being able to make time for serious question practice, dealing with three lectures along with the notes making in a single day, and I'm getting extremely exhausted. So yeah, I'll have to make some changes and for the remaining calculus chapters for maths, I'll be watching one shot from Ashish sir's mind map and annotate my previously printed notes and make short notes from them. The chapters that are remaining for calculus are only indefinite integration, differential equation and area under curve. So yeah, majority is already done. So it doesn't matter that much. Plus, I can always refer to a specific part of the lecture at places I have doubts from within the printed notes. I'll only be making full length notes for the chapters I'm doing for the first time, which are sequence and series, complex number part 2, statistics, solution of triangles, ellipse and hyperbola. In maths, I'll be relying heavily on PYQ since they're already at the right level for JE. Personally, I'm using the PWJ 7 years PYQ book. It is the latest edition covering all questions from 2019 to 2025, chapter wise and topic wise. The best part is it focuses only on relevant NTA pattern papers with error free solutions and even video solutions for 2025. Honestly, PYQ is the best route to understand the real exam pattern and practice effectively. You'll find the Amazon and Flipkart links in the description and pinned comments. Check it out if you're searching for a good PYQ book. In physics, my syllabus is done as I mentioned earlier. Now I'm doing question practice of it, which means I'm solving the homeworks given by Salim sir in class. While moving on to the next chapter, I'm doing selected SBT questions from the previous chapter. I'm doing this so that I don't stay stuck at a single chapter for too long. Also, PW launched a free YouTube series targeting G Advance and I'll most likely be following it for physics. And since a lot of you keep asking me about support during prep, if you want to connect with other aspirants and get guidance, I would also recommend checking out the community of JE Society. It's a free WhatsApp community where PYQs, concept mind maps and even motivational posts are regularly shared. It's a nice way to stay on track and not feel isolated in your preparation. I'll put the link in the description. In chemistry, half of physical chemistry is done, just the other half is remaining. That is thermodynamics, equilibrium, electrochemistry and atomic structure. In case of organic chemistry, I had already done hydrocarbons, haloalkene salurines and optical isomerism from Lakshya 1.2.25 and I also made my own notes with it. As you know, Rohit Agarwal sir taught majority of their mechanisms in those chapters itself but still I'll watch his one shots from Manzir for a thorough revision. I've printed notes for alcohol, phenols and ether from class 12th but for the rest of the chapters that is aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acids, amines and biomolecules, I'll be redoing them from prior 2025 since I did those chapters in a hurry without making proper notes. And yeah, I've also received the blue book by Ruhi Tagawal sir recently and that takes away the tension of me copying every single question, which would indeed take a lot of time for organic chemistry. For question practice, I'll be relying on PYQs while moving on to the following chapters. I've kept inorganic chemistry at the last, like my syllabus is almost done, but I forgot majority of it, so I will do it at the end. And yeah, I'll be relying on PYQs while moving on to the following chapters, but for organic chemistry, I'll make sure to do RSS DPPs as well. At the end, make sure to take care of your health and take breaks when you feel burnt out. I, for example, play my guitar or sing when I don't feel like studying. A thing you can take away from this video is that if you ever feel that your preparation is not going on the right track, or if you feel that your way of preparing is not what JE demands, don't be afraid to change it. Sometimes by watching only lectures, we get a pseudo feeling that we're studying. But no, we are not, especially in an exam like JE, where everything is completely application based. You need to make sure the 70% of your study time goes to question practice, as Mohit sir already said. In case you want to join my telegram, I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching. All the best for your prep.